So in this video, we are going to be um, creating a new item that can drop and it's going to be a power up and it's going to allow our player to shoot uh, projectiles in different ways. So what we'll do is we'll just go on to uh, dogpile and we'll do an image search for um, sprite power up I'm not sure what these are These look kind of interesting. So we're going to take that and just drag it into our resources. Then we are going to create a new texture for that. So we'll just call it um, power up. And it's power up dot png. So that is a pickup item. So bool is power up equals um, false. Both of these should be false. When we create the item that's when it should be set so let's go to coin let's look that up so when we drop a coin we're going to go pick up pick up one dot coin dot is coin equals true and we're going to do the same thing for the crate that's destroyed wherever that was um, delete wall yeah so here we're going to go we're also going to set pickup one dot sprite dot set texture equal to I believe it was texture coin and so we'll just copy this whole thing and we'll make it so that it drops power up and it can also be a one in four chance for now and I'm not sure was it is power up or just power up yeah is power up equals true and we will also change this to pick up one dot is power up equals false here and pick up one dot is coined equals false and this is texture power up So we'll just add that to right here. Let's take the coin as well. That's a wall array, so we need to change that for this one to the enemy. We also need to set the um, 
the specific rect. So there's a wall CPP. Not sure where we were setting that initially. Um, let's type in coin again. It was right here. Um, there's a pickup. Pickup one. Oh, well, let's try that. So we'll spawn a bunch of enemies in. So those are power ups. So we could make it so that under our player, we could go int power up level equals, let's say, zero. Or we could do a Boolean bool power up equals false. And then when we pick up that coin, that uh, power up, we'll set it equal to true. So player one dot power up equals true. Same thing up here. Let's leave a space. Oh, whoops, that's a coin. So when we fire our missile by pressing the space bar, I believe, We're shooting out a projectile, but let's say if player one dot power up equals true, then we want to shoot something different. So we'll just copy this code, paste it in here, and we'll create an else statement for if the power up isn't true, and we'll just do the regular code for that attack. So we'll say normal attack, um, power up attack. And so for our power up attack, we could try and shoot multiple projectiles. Um, So we could just start out by changing the X for the position, or we could generate random. You can do whatever you want for this. Like you could set if the um, player is facing up, then we have a specific attack. Maybe it goes like uh, three of them like this, and it goes up. But you need to set it for each direction. 
I'm just making them um, random just to show um, how we can do a power up attack. So, yeah, so now we're shooting th three. It's like a sort of different sort of shot going on. So we can make it so that if we take damage, we lose our power up. So under enemy collides with player or player collides with enemy. right here we can say player one dot power up equals false So now if we hit the enemy, we should have lost the power up. Yeah. So let's spawn some guys in. Okay, let's collect the power up. And now if we get hit, we lose it. If I shoot it if I shoot a projectile at that yeah, okay. It's fine. So there we go. So obviously you could have different items that drop that give your character different attacks and stuff like that. You could be using, let's say, if um, we could make it so that uh, under player, here we have power up. We could say bool, say nova attack equals false. Um, go back to main. We could say else if player one dot nova attack equals true. And uh, take this code. And so the direction is the player direction, um, but we could actually just change this to being one here. And then we could do all directions. So two, three, three, four, so let's automatically set Nova attack equal to true on our player. So now we have a Nova attack. It looks, it looks like when we actually fired our projectile, that um, it turned on our, once it intersected with the pickup, it turned on our um, power up attack, which is kind of weird. I'm gonna take a closer look at that. So it's when the Projectile mm -hmm. 
Project out clouds of wall. I'm not really sure if there's a problem there or not. But uh, you could easily make uh, different power ups that uh, drop. And then, just like uh, I showed you, you can add special attacks for when spacebar is fired. And then, when you get hit, you lose it. So, um, when we get hit, we should also be turning off Nova attack. So, where is that? So in the game Mystical Ninja, there uh, you start with this really crappy weapon that only sort of hits a little bit, a little ways out, and then you collect a power up from an enemy dropping, dropping one, and then you get a little bit longer stick to attack with, and then uh, you eventually get this sort of yo-yo thing that comes out. And that's pretty much the same thing that we've done here. It just has different levels of uh, power-ups. I'm going to draw the, the player um, wrecked and also the um, item drop wrecked because that could be an intersection going on farther than we actually think. So player wrecked and draw items. Maybe it's the player wrecked, I'm not sure. No, it's probably not. Yeah, so I'm not sure what that glitch is about because once I fire my projectile at the power up, it automatically gave me the power up for some reason which is kind of bizarre. But I'll figure that out and fix it in the next video. But it's just kind of cool that we got this working. So thanks for watching and thumbs up if you learned anything and don't forget to subscribe.